and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the St. Louis Cardinals going up against the Atlanta Braves. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Now, both sides, this game really matters as the postseason is approaching. Well, at this point of the year, guys are a little bit tired, but you've got to find a way to dig deeper and bring out your best with so much opportunity to be able to punch your ticket for October. So just about set now. And on the mound today, Mike Soroka. What should we keep an eye on here? A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. Tommy Edmond at the plate. The pitch. Off the mark nope. there. Oh. And we're underway. One and up. That one ripped. Back there. And it is gone. With one swing, he quiets the crowd. His 11th of the year, it's 1-0. You gotta love a game that brings some action from the jump and at the plate he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive and you know leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count trying to get on they're looking to make some noise and do some damage. Brendan Donovan next up for the Cardinals. And first offering is fouled off. Good eye right there. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Bounced up the middle. And it gets by him. Look, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Paul Goldschmidt in the box now. No balls and a strike. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Dominating strikeout there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. If he's hitting the spots, filling up the strike zone, sometimes he bats over before it really begins. Swings and misses. That is strike two. Donovan leads off first with one away. Ground ball could be two. Over to Albies. On to Olsen. That's two. Another look here at the solo shot leading off the ball game. It's now 1-0. This is Braves baseball on the show south. Back at Truist Park and towing the slab, Miles Michaelis. Singing he's managed to rack up a lot of innings on the mound this season. And boom, this guy's getting close to 200 innings oh. on the year. You know, there's some milestones one that ball, pitchers go after. One of them, 20 wins. But another one that we don't talk about a whole lot is that 200 nope. inning oh. threshold. To be able to Two surpass that right. says that, hey, they prepared themselves for the season. They were able to stay healthy, and they were able to pitch effectively enough to stay in ball games long enough to reach that number. Pretty impressive on what he's done, and it's not over yet. Kicks and deals. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. In the dirt. Slings to first. One gone bottom half of the first. And next for Atlanta, Michael Harris. Off the plate inside. And that is ball one. Way inside gets out of the way. Well, you've got to establish the inside part of the plate early, and that sends a message not just to this hitter, but to the rest of the guys in this lineup. Here's a high fly ball out to center. And there's two away. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Three hits last night. 
So he was a big factor in getting that win. And that's in there for strike one. And a swing and a miss there. More and more guys are looking to slog regardless of the count. And this situation will keep a close eye on his approach. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Gone! He flexes his power with that swing. His 38th of the year. It's 1-1. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. of how he was able to go down and get this fastball but yet get it up in the air hit it far enough to get out of this ballpark here's Austin Riley one of the best RBI guys in the game this year right now second in the NL there's yeah. the strike tied up here in the early going hit hard base hit and that extends the inning Man at first, stepping in the long ball threat, Matt Olson, one of the elite home run hitters in the league this year. Line drive, base hit. Riley, round second on his way to third. The run scores all the way from first. It's 2-1. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. And that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate. And it's even better when it gets you extra bases. Love looking in at your dugout and seeing the guys fired up. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Homered last night. Added another hit as well. Look out. Oh. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Up the middle, Edmund. Gathers and throws to first. Third out. But new inning getting started. Now, Jack Sawinski. And he grounds one back up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Nick Solak coming into the game now is the injury replacement. Here's Nolan Gorman. Fouled off. He was late. And a pitch. There's a strike with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Next pitch is downstairs. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. One gone here. Edward Olivares. Next up for the Cardinals. On the ground, a short could be two. Fired to second. Over to first, safe. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Yeah. Wilson Contreras in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. To the right side. And quickly one away in the second. Now in for the Braves. Vaughn Grissom. One of the stars in the win yesterday. As he had three hits. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Michaelis. Multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball. A slider. A sinker. A curve. And he works in a changeup. Olivares makes the catch for the out. And there are two outs. Orlando Arcia, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Oh, and two now. Out towards right center field. Olivares chasing after it. Nice grab on the run. Welcome back. Top half of the third inning. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Tyler O'Neill, you look at that frame and you know he's got some power, but also an excellent defender. He's won multiple gold gloves, but 
Speaking of that frame, his dad Terry was the 1975 Mr. Canada top bodybuilder. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. And here comes Tommy Edmond. And it's fouled away. Well, what's impressive for me with Tyler O'Neill is just the athleticism. You talk about that frame, and yeah, he is a muscle-bound player, oh, but he's also right. flexible. So you see him do some things, hitting, can go the opposite field, plays a gold glove caliber left field. So yeah, don't be fooled by the big muscles. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. That one misses. One, it's a ball and two strikes. Now well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Arcia whips it to first, and they get Edmund for the out. Out to short, Arcia. Tosses to first. St. Louis goes down in. And welcome back. Here's Nick Solak. The pitch. That one to first. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Solak goes 5 feet 11 inches. Hitting leadoff in today's game. They got him off of waivers earlier this season. Top of the order speedster. You'd really like to see him work his way on. He can get around the bases in a hurry, but a little too aggressive, maybe a little anxious. Here comes a pinch. And there's a ball. On the ground, right side. Gorman throws on to first. One up, one down. Here's a speed threat, Michael Harris. Pitch misses inside, and yeah, that's ball one. And a swing and a miss. One and one. Strike two. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. On the run, sends it over to first. Two up, two down. Just an outstanding play going up the middle right there. And the exchange to get the throw off to first just shows you why he's one of the best shortstops around. So smooth, yet so quick at the same time. And Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out. As we go to the top of the fourth. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. And there's the strike. You know, these Cardinals just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Right-hander kicks deals. That's the third. Tosses across the first, and they get Goldschmidt for the out. Here's Nolan Arenado. First offering, misses the mark. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. That's in there. One and two. One ball, two strikes. And now it's even oh, up. It's a good take. The punch out there. Out number two. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Sawinski right. stands in now and watches strike one. Hard ground ball, base knock. Everything came together for him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back no, where it came from. Ball. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Gorman stands in here. Takes ball one low. They get the force. And that is that. Back here in Atlanta, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Austin Riley. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Throws to second. 
And he'll pull him to second safely. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Olsen now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Doubled in his first A.B. Next offering is foul back. The 0 2. Got him swinging. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. Whips it to first. Two away. Travis Darno next up for the Braves. That one ran no, no, inside, no. almost got him. Riley on third with two out. And that one hammered. That's back. And that one is off the wall. In comes the runner from third. It's 3-1. Safely into second. He's got a double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So here's the Braves designated hitter. Vaughn Grissom. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And a foul ball. A one down. And misses one and one. inside. Two outs. And one in scoring position. Out there to center. O'Neill drifts towards it. Brings it in for the third out. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now the right fielder, Edward Olivares. Yeah. In for a strike. It's 0-1. You know, these cards, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part oh, of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Takes it himself, you know. and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Now fly ball to right center. And in one hops the wall. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss struck him out. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Here's a 1-1. Arcia gets it to first, and they get Edmund for the out. And Back here at the ballpark, here's Orlando Arcia. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Braves doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Here's the second baseman, Nick Solak. Good eye right ball. there. One ball, no strike. And a big swing and a miss. 1-1. One, one. 
One down, base is empty. And strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. No, that's down. Ball. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Brings it in with a nice run and grab. Two down. Two out, space is empty. Here's the center fielder, Michael Harris. Left field, Sawinski settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on that one. And that Back at Truist Park. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now the number two hitter, Brendan Donovan. Now the 01. And a swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Solak tosses to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. On the ground to third. Fair ball. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream of. And it stays fair. Goldschmidt makes the turn at second. And he's got a double. The relay. The tag. Out. That really hurts right there. This is no time to gamble. When you're down in the ball game, you've got to be sure if you're going to advance a runner or even try to score right there, that you're going to be safe. Just a poor decision. And yeah, the batter now, Jack Solinski. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Runner at second, two down. Throw on to Olsen, and that's the third out. So Bottom of the six. Now it's the right fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. Swing and a miss. Oh, one. Ball, Movement in the bullpen for the Cardinals. Jake Woodford getting loose out there. Wainwright getting loose as well. On the ground to third. Over to Goldie. Oh. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, He's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the no, ball that very that well ball. right now. Riley lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And it's out of here. All muscle to center field. His 39th home run of the season. And they add a run. It's 4-1. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Pitchers are taught to keep the ball down so that you don't get hurt. But unfortunately on that one, he made a pretty good pitch in terms of location, but it was just a better swing. Here comes the manager out of the Cardinals dugout. Jake Woodford will take over here. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Olsen now at the plate as he swings through strike one. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, a two now. Left-hand hitter waits. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way. And gone. Matt Olson goes deep. Home run number 40 on the year. And they tack one on the board. It's 5-1. Back homers always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club.
the left fielder, number 20, Marcel Ozuna. Gloves it on the dive, throw to first, and they get the out. Great cat-like reflexes right there. Lays out, knocks the ball down, and then fires with that rocket arm all the way across the diamond. Man, put this guy on the mound. Travis Darno next up for the Braves. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Darno, an all-star a season ago. 34-year-old vet, and he's driven in eight runs over his last 10 games. Okay. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Not a swing you want to watch again. Next pitch misses way outside. Right-handed reliever. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 5-1 ball game. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the second baseman, Nolan Gorman. That one laced to center and a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. So, man aboard, and up next for St. Louis, Edward Olivares. One out. And the right hander deals. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully, the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Gorman gets his lead at first. Nobody out. That one finds the three zone, and, and it's three and one. They've got a potent lineup, and when Full you count. think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. to hit is Wilson Contreras that's off the mark oh, ball one oh. he was looking to come up with the shutdown inning and off to a shaky start swing and a line drive slicing into right field pulls up and it drops for a hit and they're happy to play station to station right here base is loaded nobody out and now Tyler O'Neill and he swings and misses at the initial offering Ball one there. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. At the belt and fires. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The tying run at the plate. Next offering misses down and away. And a run comes in to score. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. And here is Tommy Edmond. He's already homered in this game. Here comes a man. Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Jesse Chavez. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Light drive and foul ball. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Well, he homered earlier in the game, but showing no fear on the mound so far in this at bat. He's just attacking the strike zone. Hit on the ground might be two. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Brendan Donovan, next up for the Cardinals, one for three. In the infield Good. at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. One, two. Goes down looking. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. So clutch, you could argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. That hits the dirt, one and one. 
And another ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. Two balls, one strike. That misses. And now three balls and a strike. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Can't get too big here, Boo, with the bases loaded. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, I'd say he pretty much had to offer it that one. You don't want to leave it in the umpire's hands. Even though it ended up outside the zone, it still was close enough to where it looked like it could drop down right on that corner and get the call. Last thing you want to do is get punched out by the umpire knowing you could have at least fouled the pitch off and kept the at-bat going. So the tying run at second. Two, two. Pitch oh. misses, and the count's full. full count. So all three runners will be off of the full count pitch with two away. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And he's down on strikes. And... Welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. And now the DH, Vaughn Grissom. The right-hander back to work. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. O'Neill drifts towards it. Puts it away for the out. Or Lando Arcia, next up for the Braves. Next pitch has popped up. Goldie makes the play. That's out number two. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Nick Solak will hit next. And first offering is fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. And that one got a piece of him. Well, it's safe to say he won't be getting invited to the charity golf tournament this offseason. Two outs, runner at first. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Michael Harris. One and oh. That one not close. One and oh. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper one puts one. on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Swing and a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And the throws offline, safe at third. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So with second and third occupied, they go for the intentional walk. Base is down loaded, and there's a force at every base. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. Swing and a miss, one and, one. and that is strike one. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Swing and a miss, one and two. the count is one and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Solak, the runner at third. Harris on second. Acuna at first. Two out of the inning. A dive. He's got it. To first. And very nicely done for the out. Welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. Now up for St. Louis. Jack Zawinski. Here comes A.J. Minter to the mound. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Wow, short work to send him packing to start the inning and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone. Attack mode all the way. And that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Makes a nice running catch. And there's two away. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Olivares in the box now. No balls and a strike. 
Swing and a miss as he was out oh, front. Okay. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Swing and a miss, and he struck him. Bottom of the inning, and now Matt Olson up to hit. Woodford back to work. And ball one. Ball. And that one is inside. To account, you really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges, really execute a pitch. Hopefully, you can get back into this count. Ground ball up the middle. The throw to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. And next for Atlanta, Marcelo Zuna. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. This one high in the air to left center. O'Neill drifts towards it. He makes the grab. Two away now. Travis Darno next up for the Braves. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He sends it out of here. Home run number 10 on the year. It's 6 3. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he has really seen the ball well in this one. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul ball. Jordan Hicks gets the call from the pen. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And now here is Vaughn Grissom. Foul ball there. Here comes the one Late on that fastball. Okay. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Going to count one and one two. Ball, two strikes. The pitch. That's inside. Two, two. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. That one ripped. Nice grab. Make a great catch like that. It's Now we see Rysel Iglesias out of the bullpen. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. The pitch. That one missed. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Tyler O'Neill digs in now. Fought off foul. Iglesias measures six feet two inches, 190 pounds, and they went out and made a trade. This ball is roped, and it gets down into the gap in right center. He's in at second with a one-out double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. It falls in, and that's a knock. The tag. See. 
Back to back base hits. The pitch was dotted down and away. Good location, but a great job at the plate to spoil it and drive it the other way. Beautiful swing. Pitch kicks away from Darno. And save! A close play at the plate, and that scores a run on the wild pitch. And the righty deals. That clips the corner. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Edmund, the runner at second with one away. And that's ripped for a base hit. Around third. He'll score, and now they trail by one. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Pretty good changeup on the outside corner, but he did exactly what you're supposed to do with that pitch. See it deep and keep your hands inside it to drive it the other way. One out, runner at second. Paul Goldschmidt next up for the Cardinals. And that is cut on and missed. That's strike one. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Next offering misses, two and one. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Next offering is down low. And now the count filled up three and two. Swings and misses, struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Here's Nolan Arenado. That one fouled off. The 1 just missed. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Two and one. Next offering in the dirt. Two and one. There's a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Man, it's second. That to right. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves strand the tying run on base to win it. Well, this turned out to be an exciting, very well-played game. Always feels great when you can take the lead in the eighth at home. Come out in the ninth. The crowd will be behind that pitcher as he tries to get those final three outs. Everybody goes home happy with a win like this. 6-5 the final here today. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.